Okay. Uh, Comsec. So you have heard the dispositive, uh, the executive summary of the dispositive portion. Uh, pasok na po ito sa plenary. We'll be showing you the complete documents uh, in a little while. 197 pages, five exhaustive hearings conducted by the Blue Ribbon Committee, hundreds of pages of transcripts, including TSNs and documentary evidence. Ito po yung nabuong conclusion, base po sa batas, as base po sa ebidensya, ito po yung lumabas. Thank you, Your Honor. Executive summary, inquiry on the alleged overpriced and outdated laptops procured by the Department of Education. Because schools became physically inaccessible due to the COVID-19 pandemic, DepEd endeavored to adjust to the new normal as everyone became heavily reliant on technology. Now, bearing the brunt of the laptop deal between DepEd and PSDBM are the public school teachers Instead of enhancing teaching and learning capacities, the actions of DepEd and PSDBM officials <coughs> excuse me, were to the detriment of public service. After the conduct of five hearings and based on the evidence presented, the Blue Ribbon Committee's findings are as follows. One, the contract for the supply and delivery of laptop computers for public school teachers under the 2021 DepEd Laptop for Teachers Procurement Project was overpriced by at least 979 million pesos. There is sufficient basis to believe that there was a conspiracy to facilitate and or generate an overprice which indicates manifest partiality, evident bad faith and or gross inexcusable neglect on the part of senior officials and staff of the DepEd and the PSDBM. While they may seemingly act separately, concerted acts were evident to create an opportunity for favored bidders to submit bloated and excessive bids, leading to an overprice in the purchase of the laptops. The repeated changes by DepEd in the use and allocation of the 2.4 billion pesos from tables to mobile connectivity tablets. loads for I, students. I, I think you can be corrected, not tables, tablets. Ta sorry, my, my mistake. From tablets to mobile connectivity loads for students and then to laptops for teachers is highly arbitrary, unjustified, improper, and not beneficial to deaf ed teachers and students. Number four. The outsourcing of procurement tasks by DepEd to PSDBM contravenes Section 7.3.3 of the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulations of Republic Act 9184, as DepEd has the proficiency and capability to undertake the procurement. Further, rather than hastening the procurement, the transfer to PSDBM delayed it. The memorandum of agreement entered into by DepEd and PSDBM dated 16 February 2021 was antedated as it was only signed on 28 May 2021, thereby making the procurement activities conducted irregular and questionable. In this regard, the obligating of the funds supposedly for the procurement of the laptops on 18 February 2021, without the said memorandum of agreement in place, is likewise irregular and questionable. The increase of the unit price component of the approved budget for the contract from 35,036 pesos and 50 centavos to 58,300 pesos, which caused the reduction of the quantity of the laptops, is highly irregular. It was generated from a manipulated market survey and price analysis of PSDBM, which was accepted and approved by DepEd without question. The Special bid Bids and Awards Committee, head of the procuring entity of PSDBM, and the officials of DepEd caused grave and undue injury 
and prejudice to the deaf ed and our public school teachers when they procured and accepted the Dell Latitude 3420 with Intel Celeron 1.8 gigahertz processor, despite said processor being below the specifications stated in the bidding documents. Contrary to the avowed purpose about purpose of the procurement, which is to ensure that teachers will have the necessary tools to conduct classes through online learning, the Dell Latitude 3420 procured were given to a large number of non-teaching personnel, about 12%, and as testified by teachers and the Commission on Audit, the laptops are too slow because the processor is Intel Celeron, which is outdated and the price is too high considering the specifications. On the basis of its findings, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee recommends the following. The A, the abolition of PSDBM and to require government departments, agencies, office instrumentalities, including GOCCs, SUCs, and local governments to conduct their own procurement as an exercise of their fiduciary duty to be accountable for public funds appropriated for their respective offices. Two, amend Republic Act number 9184 to provide for transparency and accountability requirements for joint venture entities or arrangements participating in public meetings. Three, Amend Republic Act Number 9184 to provide for transparency, transparency and accountability safeguards during the planning and pre-bidding stages of public procurement, including, but not limited to, the setting of the ABC and technical specifications of goods, services, or infrastructure to be procured. Number four. Recovery of the overprice in the amount of at least 979 million pesos as proceeds of corruption and the amount actually recovered to be placed in a special national teacher's trust fund to support the health and medical needs of public school teachers and the educational needs of their children through a special scholarship program. Next, the immediate conduct of a special fraud audit by the Commission on Audit to examine the various accounts and financial documents related to the overpricing of the laptops and determine relevant accountability. Next, request an AMLC, Anti-Money Laundering Council investigation, on the overpriced procurement, including an inquiry into bank deposits of the, of the public officials identified in this investigation. <clears throat> Next, request the BIR to conduct a special tax compliance audit or a tax fraud audit inquiry to determine whether the proper taxes were paid on the income of the joint venture consortium partners. Next, the filing of criminal and administrative cases against the officials of DepEd and PSDBM to include the following. One count of violation of Section 3E of Republic Act Number 3019, otherwise known as the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act, against the following officials of the Department of Education. One, former Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Two, Undersecretary Annalyn M. Sevilla. Three, former Assistant Secretary Salvador C. Malana III. Four, Director Abram Y. C. Abanil. The following officials of the Procurement Service and the Department of Budget and Management. One, former OIC Executive Director Lloyd Christopher A. Lau. Two, former OIC Executive Director Jason Mer L. Wyan. Three, BAC Chairman Ulysses E. Mora 
as well as the other members of SBAC-1 and SBAC-TWG and Secretariat, whether from DepEd or from PSDBM. Number four, Engineer Marwan O. Amil. And principals, representatives, and agents of the Joint Venture Consortium Partners or other private parties who may have concluded and or conspired as supported by competent evidence with the above mentioned officials. One count for the violation of Section 3G of Republic Act 3019, otherwise known as the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act, against the following officials of the Department of Education. One, former Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Two, Undersecretary Annalyn M. Sevilla. Three, former Assistant Secretary Salvador C. Malana III. The following officials also of the Procurement Service and the Department of the Department of Budget and Management, former OIC Executive Director Lloyd Christopher A. Lau, former OIC Executive Director Jason Mer L. Wayan, BEC Chairman Ulysses E. Mora, as well as the other members of SBAC-1 and SBAC-TWG and Secretariat whether from DepEd or PSDBM, as well as principals, representatives, and or agents of the Joint Venture Consortium Partners or other private parties who may have colluded and or conspired as supported by competent evidence with the aforementioned officials. One count of falsification of public document by a public official defined and penalized under Article 171 of the revised Penal Code against the following officials of the Department of Education. Number one, under Secretary Annalyn M. Sevilla. Number two, former Executive Assistant Alec Ladanga. Next, one count for violation of Section 3A of Republic Act 3019, otherwise known as the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act, against the following officials of the Department of Education. One, under Secretary Annalyn M. Sevilla, and two, former Executive Assistant Alex Ladanga. Next, multiple counts of perjury defined and penalized under Article 183 of the Revised Penal Code as amended by Republic Act Number 11594 against the following officials of the Department of Education. Under Secretary Annalyn M. Sevilla, former Under Secretary Alain Del B. Pasqua, former Assistant Secretary Salvador Malana III, former OIC Executive Director Lloyd Christopher A. Lau, and former OIC Executive Director Jason Mer Wayan of the PSDBM. In addition, the following actions are recommended. Number one, the administrative and disciplinary investigations for multiple counts of grave misconduct, serious dishonesty, gross neglect of duty, and conduct prejudicial to the best interests of the service be likewise initiated against the aforementioned senior of officials of the Department of Education and the Procurement Service of the Department of Budget and Management as may be applicable. Number two, that the Commission on Audit issue notices of this allowance for the overprice in the purchase of the laptops in the total amount of at least 979 million pesos against the following officials of the Department of Education, Under Secretary Annalyn M. Sevilla, former Under Secretary Alain Del B. Pasqua, former Assistant Secretary Salvador C. Malana III. Number three, on the basis of Presidential Decree Number 1445, otherwise known as the Government Auditing Code of the Philippines, that civil complaints be initiated against the following officials and personnel 
of the Department of Education, as well as against officials of the Procurement Service of the Department of Budget and Management to collect and recover the value of the overpriced in the amount of at least 979 million pesos, including accrued interest and damages, and that they be held jointly and solidarily liable therefore. Number one, Undersecretary Annalyn M. Sevilla, former Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua, former Assistant Secretary Salvador Mala former Assistant Secretary Salvador C. Malana III, former OIC Executive Director Lloyd Christopher A. Lau, former OIC Executive Director Jason Mer L. Wayan, and other DepEd and B PSDBA officials that may be shown by competent evidence to be responsible for government funds or uses of government property in violation of law and relevant regulations. Finally, let a copy of this committee report be furnished the Department of Education, the Department of Justice, the Office of the Ombudsman, the Commission on Audit, the Anti-Money Laundering Council, the Bureau of Internal Revenue, the Office of the Solicitor General, and the Bureau of Immigration for their information and appropriate action, including but not limited to the conduct of preliminary investigation and administrative adjudication, a special fraud audit, a tax compliance review of a tax or a tax fraud audit, legal action to recover proceeds of corruption, and an investigation of possible money, money laundering activities of public officials identified in this investigation if the law and evidence so warrants, as well as the issuance of the proper immigration lookout bulletin orders or ILBO against these, those concerned when necessary and as provided by law and existing regulations.